If you own an F-body Firebird or Camaro, they have already become classics, like this 1999 Trans Am that I have right here. So here's some tips on obtaining wheels for your F-body type Camaro or Firebird, either generation one through generation four. Now this 99 Trans Am right here is a fourth generation F-body and fourth generation is 1993 till 2002. And I think that's the year they were phased out. And if you're like me, you're no longer running the original wheels that came on it. They originally came with chromed wheels, which over time, the chrome will start to corrode and around the bead line, your tires will no longer hold a bead. Let me tell you something, they no longer make those wheels. They no longer make a 16 by eight wheel that I can find anywhere in this great country of ours. If you want to get a reconditioned wheel, head to eBay, but I wanted new wheels and let me tell you, it wasn't an easy journey going there. Well, to set up my journey on getting new wheels, let me put it in perspective a little bit. Several years ago, I had a set of American racing wheels put on, and when I picked up the vehicle, the technician says, they look great, but they're not a perfect fit. They're a little bit bigger. At that time, I already knew that they had been looking for 16-inch wheels and they couldn't find them. So we went to the 17-inch American Racing, and they were tight. <laughs> they were really tight in there. The rear stuck out about three inches in the rear, and the front was right up on the wheel well. These videos show how tight that was, and I had already accepted the wheels, and I took it. My Trans Am at that point was pretty much a garage queen. Didn't drive it, but four or five times a year just to keep the fluids exercised and I would still keep up with the other maintenance that it needed on it. But now I've gotten to the point to where she is 23 years old and I want to get it back to custom as close as I can as far as the wheels go. Everything else is custom. You open the door and sit down. You can smell the leather even at 89,000 miles. It looks almost showroom perfect. Of course, there's a ding or two here, like along the door where keys have hit it, but that's minor stuff. I started off with my local tire man that does all of my tire work on all of my vehicles, plus some of the other maintenance. He could not find a wheel in a 16 inch. Even the 17 inch wheels that he found just weren't what I wanted. It's not that that wasn't the style, I just knew that the fit wasn't gonna be right. I ended up going to Discount Tire, and on my first trip in there, the uh, sales rep, who by the way, is a great individual, and I highly recommend Discount Tire, because they take their time, they have the patience, they understand your vehicle, and they wanna make the customers happy. That's their main objective there. But he found a set of wheels that we thought would work, had tires ordered up on it as well because the tires I had on here were going on eight years old and I don't run tires normally more than six years maximum. So when the tires and wheels came in, I went down there, they put them on and guess what? Actually, the rear wheels were sticking out a little bit further and the front wheels were still scrubbing the fender well. Those were also American Racing torque thrust two wheels. So I wasn't happy about that, but the sales rep wasn't happy about it either. He went and did some research. He found what he thought would fit. He ordered those. And over the course of the weekend, waiting for those tires to come in, he did some more research. And I think he even changed the order. But I went down today and we put those on for a fit and they worked perfectly. Now, let's get into the numbers. The numbers are a little bit crazy. Let's start back with OEM, what came on this vehicle. Those were chrome plated 16 by eight rims with a 55 offset and a 120.65 by five bolt pattern. A lot of numbers there. Finding the bolt pattern wasn't a problem. Finding the 16 inch wheel was impossible. So looking at 17 inch wheels, then we had the issue with the offset. The offset that they could find initially was something like zero, zero. 
the original wheels were 55. And as I had mentioned earlier, when they went on, when those torque thrust twos by American Racing went on, the front was still scrubbing and the rear was actually exposed by another half inch. So they stuck out about this far beyond the fender. The wheels that was the fit was again American Racing Torque Thrust 2 and these are 17 by 9.5 with an offset of 45. Same bolt pattern 120.65 and they fit perfectly. They look great. I can turn the wheels left to right. There's no scrubbing. There's clearance in there. You know, for a car like this that has low profile anyway, you're not going to get a lot of clearance on the wheel. So a half inch is wonderful clearance on something like this. When Discount Tire installed these, they made sure they brought me out each time so I could look at the clearance and make sure I was happy with it. The video you're seeing now is showing the clearance of turning the wheel left to right and also some of the clearance from the rear wheels back there. Now, I actually had to film this kind of in the shade because these things are very bright. I had wanted to get aluminum cast wheels again, and these came in as chrome, and that's why they're so bright. I wasn't really crazy about that because I know, at least from my experience, chrome wheels over time will start to corrode right around here on the bead line and eventually that chrome will peel off and you will have a hard time setting the bead on your tire and it'll start to leak. That was the original problem with the OEM 16 by eight chrome wheels. And the final thing is I'll mention the tires here. I just got mid-range tires because the tires will age out before I ever wear them out. And these uh, barium tires, they're made by Continental. It's a brand I think that Discount Tire carries exclusively, but these are 245-45-17s. And talking about the age of the tire, I'd mention I don't run tires older than six years. These tires were manufactured in the sixth week of the year 22, and that's like five weeks ago. These things are very, very fresh and made in the USA. And just look at the clearance right here. With the other wheels that had the 00 offset, they were scraping this fender right here at this angle. Well, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay safe.